What's good, Raider Nation? Y'all know who it is and y'all know what it is. It's your boy, Matthew Shaq. Um, early morning, uh, just chilling on the couch, relaxing, flipping through the phone, seeing what's going on with the news. And uh, once again, man, the gift that keeps on giving, the Washington football team emails that keep being released during NFL games uh, is, is a treasure trove of information. Now, before I say anything, I know a lot of people are just saying, hey, man, let's just move on. You guys are tired of the story and all that kind of stuff, man. You guys are ready to just sweep this under the rug and continue the season. But, man, for a lot of people, they need to know what's going on. So if, if you're uh, to the point where you don't want to hear no more stories, man, then you, you, know, you can respectfully not listen or go to somewhere else or do whatever it is you got to do, go on with your life. But for people who want to know what's being said with the NFL and what's being done and uh, find out what's popping, I'm, I'm going to give you guys that information because I, I feel you deserve to know that. You, you deserve to know what's popping. If it's popping every day, I'm going to let it know, be known every day. So I'm going to go ahead and read this off my other phone because when it comes to these kind of things, I want to be accurate. I don't want to sit up here and say something wrong and then have somebody come in and say, oh, that's not what was said. You got it wrong. So I'm going to read it straight from the source. Okay. Here's the next thing that's popping. Leaked emails. I'm reading off my phone. So if I'm not looking at the camera, you understand. Leaked emails expose NFL top lawyer Jeff Pash mocking Latinos and black people. I'm going to say that again. Leaked emails expose NFL's top lawyer Jeff Pash mocking Latino and black people. Here we go. The ongoing investigation concerning the Washington football team has revealed a lot of nasty things. This time around, emails of the top NFL lawyer Jeff Pash uh, mocking Latino and black people have been leaked. Uh, so this is what was actually uh, a screenshot. The New York Times put this out uh, last night during the uh, during the game, um, the uh, Buccaneers and the Eagles game last night. So this is what was being said. Now, he's sending emails to Bruce Allen. Bruce Allen, same guy. Same guy that John Gruden got caught up with. Okay, Now, Jeff Pash, who was the, the lead attorney for the NFL, is sending emails too. Okay, Here's what one of it said. In regards to uh, uh, black people, uh, talking about the Rooney Rule. Curious, there is a... Is there a rule against hiring libertarians, independents, or even a Republican, Allen asked? And Jeff Pash said no, but it could sometimes look that way, referring to a rule that requires the NFL to interview minority candidates for coaching and executive jobs. Allen then said, well, we have the Rooney Rule, so I'm going to propose the Lincoln Rule as an Abraham Lincoln at the next meeting. That, 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 that's, that's pretty foul, man. You know, it's a lot of you guys are going to say, what's the big deal? But you got to understand history and the connotation. They're, they're, they're trying to liken it to, to, to Abraham Lincoln. What did Abraham Lincoln do? Free the slaves. It's like you got to read between the lines. And a lot of times people, if you're not a member of that minority class, you don't see a insult. You just see something being said. You don't understand the connotation. But those who actually live it every day can read between the lines. So that's the first thing. Okay. A, a more gross email revelations this time between Bruce Allen uh, and of the Washington football team and general counsel Jeff Pash mocking Latino people uh, uh, being gross towards women and joking about lowering player salaries. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to go to Twitter. OK, so just so, so people well, you can't see on my phone because of my phone's bright. But anyway, uh, so I'm going to read that real quick. Just be patient with me. Uh, here's the one about the lat about the uh, Latin um, uh, insult. So Passion Allen, like I said, this is from the New York Times, okay? Passion Allen uh, and his team spun it out of uh, spun in and out of crisis is talking about the league's diversity initiatives. Diversity initiatives, that means everybody who is a minority trying to uh, have equal rights in the NFL, okay? When Allen shared an audio file of a team song aimed to attract Latino fans, Jeff Pash, who is the general counsel for the NFL, said, responded, I'm not sure this song will be as popular after the wall gets built. I'm going to say that again. He responded, general counsel, head lawyer of the NFL, who we love so much, who 
they can do no wrong and they were right to, to, to do what they did against Gruden. Now they're talking. Let's see what the same energy is being kept. Pash responded, I'm not sure that this will be as popular after the wall gets built. What wall is he referring to? Is, is he referring to a wall that's being built at one of the new stadiums in the NFL? Or is he referring to the wall that uh, former President Donald Trump was talking about? Pash helped Allen defend the team's former name, widely viewed as a slur of American Indians against criticism. Uh, Allen sent him an article uh, saying that the uh, senator uh, in Washington who was ahead of it said that her high school or her previous school uh, had a neat team with a Native American name. And Jeff Pash responded, no way, too good to be true. It's just, it's, it, you know, it's just too many things. It's like, like I said, man, and, and like a lot of people say, it's okay to disparage one community and it's not okay to disparage another community. It's okay to insult somebody, one person. It's not okay to insult another person. And it's all a matter of, of, of perspective. And like I said before, I'm going to continue to let people know what's popping because a lot of people don't know that. You know what I'm saying? Just because we're fans of the NFL and your team is winning or you're you're good where you are, or you don't feel uh, um, disrespected or you don't feel marginalized, doesn't mean that people don't need to know the information. 